Hey there, folks. It's the morning of day five after getting sick with COVID. Yesterday was remarkably better than any other day of having COVID, including day one. You know, as the day progressed, my sinuses continued to open up and the tinnitus is almost gone. What's even better news is that my wife's ability to taste has finally started to come back. It's still an annoyance for her, just like the ringing in my ears is an annoyance for me. But it's not because of its severity, just because it's a constant reality that's vastly different from normal. Something else that seems really weird. My wife spiked a fever yesterday and then within an hour broke that fever without taking anything. And it happened twice. I know it was only a low grade fever, but why? It doesn't make any sense to me. She's like day six, day seven now of this COVID situation. And she didn't take anything. I think it has something to do with this COVID cytokine influence. And in layman's terms, cytokines are an essential part of our immune system. And they fundamentally allow cells to communicate with each other using small proteins for signaling. You know, in the last episode of Vaping with COVID, I also told you that I upped the nick in my vape. And the theory behind this decision was to stop COVID from over-exaggerating the immune reaction in my body. I'm not a doctor or a professional scientist, but I do know from firsthand experience that that decision has dramatically improved how I feel. I can still tell that I'm sick. There's still some congestion in my sinuses, but they're slowly starting to drain. My wife, she didn't change her concentration in her vape and has dramatically vaped less since she got sick. Now, like I said, it's past day seven for her and she's at work again today. She still feels like she's sick from time to time, but is just powering through it. I, on the other hand, am flabbergasted at how quickly this is coming to an end. I've heard and read stories of others who get COVID and fight it for weeks and weeks on end. Yet here I am with only four full days under my belt. And I can say I'm feeling fine. Well, my stomach's a little upset today. But other than that... The symptoms have all just completely diminished. It's also shocking that so far, I've only taken one Zyrtec, and that was on the night of day two. I didn't take any Tylenol or any Advil or any other medicine or cold medicine or flu medicine or NyQuil or any of that stuff. And if somebody would have told me this a month ago and asked me a month ago if this would be possible, I would have told them they're crazy. COVID has been shoved down our throats since it was first discovered. And yes, I understand that this is the Omicron variant and that it's much milder than the original COVID and that I've been vaccinated. So this, that's the reason for getting vaccinated. Well, this is not the reality that we're all led to believe you're going to happen. And then they make it even worse by saying, oh, if you vape, it's going to make it worse. Vaping made it better for me. Anyway, I truly want to thank all of you for the wonderful supportive comments that you leave on these videos. They truly are a blessing. It was the primary spark that got me to up the nick in my vape, which I honestly believe is what changed the direction that I was going in. So if you'll indulge me for just a few minutes, I'd like to highlight just a few of them for you now. Susie Sorglos writes, glad to hear you're doing a bit better and also your wife. Yes, I heard about that nicotine and COVID-19. I always felt confident so far, and now I'm even triple vaccinated and hope not to catch it. Ringing in the ears is indeed very disturbing. And you know what? 
Since about five years, I suffer from tinnitus in my left ear. Day and night, nothing can be done. But I'm used to it by now. I try not to think of it, nor to concentrate on it. And I have no other idea or choice than to live with it. Best wishes. Thank you for your comment, Susie. I plan on getting a vaccine booster once I become eligible for it again. Being vaccinated has definitely been a contributing factor on how bad or mild symptoms are. And that is true for anyone out there. And I certainly hope that this tinnitus dissipates completely for me once the infection is gone. Unfortunately, with all the research I've done, I know that there's a percentage of people out there who get ringing in the ears from COVID. And some people even get it just from getting the vaccine. So at this point, I guess a prayer is in order because no one knows for sure what causes it. And there are no miracle cures for hearing loss, which is technically what tinnitus is classified as. Adam McGinnis writes, glad to hear you're doing better. I just started vaping again after taking a year off of it, not due to COVID or anything, but decided to take a break. And now that it's 2022, I started to vape again. I hope you keep getting better. Thanks for your comment, Adam. You know, there's lots of reasons why people vape. Some people are genetically predisposed to seeking out substances like caffeine or nicotine, or who knows what. Some people vape just to get that mild stimulant benefit out of it. Same reason why some people drink coffee. I only bring this up because it's much better for you to vape than it would be to start or to go back to smoking. And as long as cigarettes are widely available everywhere, I'm going to applaud when somebody chooses vaping over smoking. Balika7 writes, Glad to hear you are both doing better. Since you mix, I can recommend Inawera Mix Mint, Spearmint and Peppermint as a sinus cleanser. It's got a little culotta, or WS23, I think, because I forgot to shake sometimes, and it can be too icy. The comment continues by talking about percentages to use and how effective the flavoring is for each. Balika7, I want to thank you for your comment. I never thought about trying an icy flavoring to clear my sinuses until I read your comment. You know, I got a batch of this dead Christmas laying around here that I haven't finished off. I'm going to, as the English say, give it a go. Speaking of the English, the Vaping Heed writes, Glad to see you're feeling a bit better, sir, and best wishes to your better half. I think that sometimes nature should run its course, as this will strengthen our body's immune system to fight this virus. Hey, Kenny the Vaping Heed, thank you for your comment. I'm going to pass the message on to my better half, as I'm sure that she's going to appreciate it as much as I did. I completely agree with you. She is my better half. And yes, we do need to let nature run its course. It's the reason that I didn't start popping Advil or NyQuil to feel better. These drugs only mask the symptoms, and mine, quite frankly, weren't bad enough for me to even really consider taking anything. The most important thing to do when you get sick is to ensure that you have the proper nutrition to fuel your body's ability to fight off any ailment you might get and get plenty of rest. And that's essentially what I did to fight this battle with COVID. I focused on getting rest that I needed, and I started taking a multivitamin to make up for any deficiencies that I had from my diet. I also started every day by eating a fresh orange. It's not good enough to just take some vitamin C pill or drink some orange juice. And most likely, isn't just juiced oranges. It's some concentrated concoction from oranges that's processed, homogenized, pasteurized. No, thank you. COVID has run its course on me and my body is still fighting it off. But fortunately, the symptoms are just about gone now. I plan on doing one more of these tomorrow, but this series did not last as long as I thought it would. All the fear-mongering that we see on TV every single day 
leads us to believe that getting COVID can be a death sentence. And yeah, for some, it has been. But when you step back and you look at the big picture, you quickly find out tobacco combustion continues to kill more than twice the number of people that COVID has. And vaping is the answer to not smoking. So my message is always, keep on vaping and have a great day, folks.